Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing a Figma model kit. And this is the Dark Magician Girl anime model kit. And I got this from Amazon, and it took me forever to complete this figure. But I'm so glad to finally have this in my collection. And she is not a bad-looking figure, but before we look at Dark Magician Girl herself, we're going to look at her box. Here we got a nice product shot of the anime-style artwork on the box of Dark Magician Girl. Cross... Flames Girl, Dark Magician Girl from Yukio, which is both an anime and a cartoon, which I love that show so much. Get a product shot of Dark Magician Girl, wielding her staff in either hands. Her without her hat. She's got her magic formula. She can be put on a stand. And so forth. Warning information, the alternate faces, and more stuff included with the box. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Now we're going to look at Dark Magician Girl herself. And this is not a bad-looking Dark Magician Girl. She's got bend at the knee, which is real nice. You can get some bend at the knee. I love this figure. Second verse, just like the first, bend at the knee. Head is on a ball joint, which is nice. You get some movement. Arms are on hinges. Nice. So you can get some really good poses out of her. You gotta be careful not to pop her arm loose, like I just almost did. But she can wave her hand and be like, hello, world. Oh, and you can easily pop her hand off easily, which I just did. Whoops. Now I gotta go put her hand back in. <laughs> And I popped her in two. I'll fix her up as good as new. But yeah, you can easily pop her loose with slight ease. So you have to be very careful with this particular model kit. Because you can pop stuff loose very easily. Oh, there I go doing it again. Come on. Come on. Show you off all the posability. And her hands get some really good posability. That's all there is to say for the model kit herself, and she looks fantastic, just like she came out of the anime, and she does get some alternative faces. You got this face you can give her, but she's a pain in the neck to remove faces, so I'm not going to bother showing that off. You got this face you can give her, a wink face. That's all there is to say for those faces. And she comes with a nice figure stand, so you can get her in some poses with that. So let's show off what she looks like on her, on her stand here. First, we're going to carefully... Oh, and I just popped something free. Popped a piece free by mistake. I mean, I probably have to disassemble her and then put her on the stand and then reassemble her from scratch. But just for the sake of this review, we're going to show her off on her figure stand. And I just popped her free. Now we put her top hat back on. And she just keeps popping free, so I'm not going to bother showing that off. If I can make this work, I'll show you her on the stand. That comes included with the figure.
but boom. There we got Dark Magician Girl on her figure stand that comes included with the model kit. And that doesn't look half bad, but I'm probably not going to display her on it because she always pops loose on me. And this stand ain't high enough for my taste. So, yeah, we're not going to show that off anymore. But that was the figure stand that comes included with the model kit. So, yeah, not a bad figure stand if I do say so myself. And she's fighting me just to put her back together again. But here we got Dark Magician Girl back up and put together. Sorry I showed off the stand, but it always pops her loose. And her legs just pop loose again. Come on, Dark Magician Girl, don't fight me. Let me put you back together. Well, a lot of things pop loose on this kit real easily, so I don't like messing around with it too much because I'm afraid of popping things loose too much but here we got her with her magic formula book and she's ready to learn a new spell if i can get her to stand and yeah now she's ready to learn a new spell and use it against an opponent's monster and that's really nice isn't it but now we're going to do some comparisons with some other figures here we got the only other anime model kit i got here on the channel my very first one, and this is the Z Destiny Lacus Klein. I love that model kit so much, I keep her in my collection. But now, with some other Yu Gi Oh! action figures I actually own the first season Yu Gi Moto. Why not? Dare I say, why not? First season Yu Gi Oh! Summon Skull. Because it's Yukio, why not? And of course, what set would be complete without the master of Dark Magician Girl? Dark Magician. I say, why not? And of course, of my personal favorite, Black Luster Soldier. Probably wondering, is an anime model kit of Dark Magician Girl worth that into your collection? Yes, I think so. The first time I ever saw her was in the first season of Yukio, and that's the bio on her when she first appeared being used against y Yukio Duelist Arcana against Yugi Moto, which is kind of cool. And that's all there is to say for this review. And I gave you a brief bio on this character. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.